Hey guys, Vanessa here. Welcome to my channel. If you are not new here, you probably know that I do a lot of composites and that's mostly what I've been doing since I started my channel. There was a couple outdoor shoots in the fall. I prefer to shoot outside and so the last few months have been kind of a struggle for me because I would rather be outside. The fact that it's really cold is one of the downsides to where I live, but one of the really like good things is that I live in a small town so I've got a lot of nature around me which is nice I just wish it wasn't cold for half the year so yesterday I randomly decided to go do a photo shoot outside some self-portraits and I love that I have the ability to just drop everything and go do that sometimes and I squeezed it in in an hour between picking up my kids from school, from the elementary school and the high school, because I get out at different times. So I did it in that in-between time that I usually just waste. What do I usually do? I usually don't really do anything in that time, in that weird in-between time. So I squeezed it in, took my two younger kids with me. You know, they're old enough just to play when I go out and do these shoots and keep themselves busy. I don't really need to like watch them because they're not gonna get into, well, they get into their own mischief, but it's not bad. <laughs> They're not gonna die or anything. <laughs> so I just take them with me. And people ask me that all the time. Like, how do you do this with three kids? And, you know, if they're not directly involved in my shoot, like modeling, sometimes my son likes to be the behind the scenes camera guy. So if they're not directly involved, they're usually just off to the side, hanging out, playing. And they are more than willing to give me a hand. If I'm like, hey, I need help with this. Somebody come throw my skirt or something. So it's nice to have that extra set of hands and they actually make it a little bit easier. I don't see them as a challenge or obstacle at all when it comes to creating because I really just include them. It becomes, you know, an outing for us. Sometimes I'll spend you know, 20 minutes taking photos and then the rest of the time we hang out or do something else or go grab ice cream after. And that's just kind of how we work. So I feel like a lot of moms sometimes feel like it's what they love or their kids. And that doesn't really have to be the case. When your kids realize how much something makes you happy or how much you enjoy doing something, they want you to be happy too. They love you. So they're more than willing to support that. You just have to give them a chance to show you that they will support you. <laughs> but I think moms are so self-sacrificing. Sometimes we don't even really try and we don't even really give our kids the chance to be those people in our lives that will give us support and help us out and be part of our team and be a collaborator with us. I personally really view me and my little crew as a team like that's what we are yeah i'm the mom yeah i'm the leader yeah i have to be responsible for stuff but you know i love creating with them and i think they really enjoy it too so i really don't want people that have kids to feel like they can't do this or that it's a challenge because it's really really just a blessing it's such a blessing to be able to create with the people that you love and have those memories. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I get a lot of questions, <laughs> get a lot of DMs. People are like, lady, you're a single mom of three. How are you making so much stuff? This is how. I just do it and they're there and they're included and they like it. I don't force them. I just have to say that too. Don't force your kids to do something that they hate or they're not into because that's not gonna go over well. But, you know, with joy and positivity, <laughs> you just kind of lead the way and then they get to see from your actions how to follow their heart too when it comes time for them to pursue their own passions. So, a little bit of a mom rant there. So yesterday during my shoot, I started out doing what I typically do, which is just standing in the center of the frame and kind of twirling around and dancing around and getting some poses in that way. And I do a lot of images kind of like composed in that 
manner. And I don't mind it because it does give my work a little bit of like a consistency, things to look a little bit more coherent and like they're put together and more like a series when I don't really do series is, is I just kind of make whatever I want. I wanted to change it up a little bit. I hardly ever do like lying down images, but the emptiness and the open space and the color, it just made me feel like I really wanted to get something a little bit more sad and maybe even lonely. So I decided to lay down and you'd think that would be really cold, but it, it was fine actually with all the layers that I had and that extra dress on top that you see me putting on in the back behind the scenes. It was fine, it didn't soak through, I wasn't wet or cold. I was the only person that didn't even get wet. Like I'm dancing on the ice, I weigh way more than my kids and I'm the only one that didn't fall in. But anyway, <laughs> so I did some lying down ones just to mix it up a little bit and I really like them. I think I wanna try to stretch my posing a little bit more. So one of the reasons that I do that setup a lot and that composition is because of one of the biggest struggles that self-portrait artists have and that's focus. I can set the focus so much easier if I am just standing in the middle. I can use the autofocus and I usually have it set to like not the middle dot but the middle below dot and then I am usually in focus when I'm doing a full body shot like that and I'm out dancing and a little bit in the distance. So that makes it a lot easier to get the focus whereas you know if I was moving around I would need to change my focus to different areas of the camera or I'd need to set my focus manually and when it's cold outside I do not want to be back and forth changing my manual focus to every single little tiny spot that I am in. Um, I want to be able to use autofocus so that's definitely one of the biggest reasons why I end up doing that even though it's kind of like the more, most boring <laughs> composition you can have. It makes it a whole lot easier when you're a self-portrait artist and you're trying to nail that focus. Self-portraits to me are like a visual journal. You know, it's a way of doing some inner reflecting, thinking about who I am, what matters to me, what I'm drawn to. I love using symbolism in them and doing those kind of conceptual pieces. I just feel like I can put so much more depth into my work, hidden messages, things that I feel like I can't say out loud to the world. So I find it really kind of like even therapeutic, but at the same time, it's just fun. I like to be a dork sometimes. I like wearing dumb costumes. I'm an introvert, so there's not a whole lot of chance you'll find me at a party, but if you make it a theme party, there's like at least a 50% chance more likely I'll show up just because I probably have the perfect outfit. <laughs> Everybody knows that if I were to ever get arrested for anything, it would be trespassing. It's the only rule that I, only law <laughs> that I would probably break. So it's just, it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable in serious manner. It's enjoyable in just a playful, joyful manner. And I like being alone. I like working alone. I like doing everything alone. So self-portraits. I mean, I love photography, but that was one of my biggest struggles is when I started, there's this expectation of taking photos of other people. There's this expectation that to make it worthwhile, I had to take on clients and I had to, you know, provide the best service and be super friendly. And it's not that I'm not super friendly because I'll chat to you all online. Online! Not in real life. I just love my solitude so much. So when I started doing self-portraits and I started doing book covers, I was finally able to do photography in a way that felt good and I don't think I would ever change that. 
thanks so much for coming along with me today on my random thoughts about life and creativity, self-portraits. I'd love to know if you're a self-portrait artist, you know, what does self-portraits mean to you? What, ha what impact has it had on your life? What positive message do you have to share? Um, leave them in the comments below because I love this topic and I would love to have some more discussion around it and hear some other perspectives and some other viewpoints. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing some more behind the scenes, I'll have some videos right now. Have a great day. All right, you're live. Oh, hi.